Welcome to another 8th Wall Augmented Reality video tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a project that most of you are probably familiar with, Rollaball, and convert it to an augmented reality application that you can run on your phone. Using 8th Wall software, this process is going to be extremely quick, and even better, free. The first thing we'll do is open a new project within Unity. Now, since most people are probably familiar with the Rollaball project, we're going to head to the Asset Store and download the completed project that we're going to convert into augmented reality. We'll go ahead up to the search bar and search for Rollaball Tutorial. You'll want to find this project that says Rollaball Tutorial Complete. It is a free download, so let's go ahead and bring that in. We'll go ahead and import the whole project. Once the project is imported, we're going to head down to the project panel, go to completed game, and double click Rollaball. This will open the completed project file, and the next thing to do is to import 8th Wall XR. If you haven't already done this, head over to 8 wall.com, create an account or log in, and head over to the downloads page. From here, just grab 8th Wall XR for Unity with the big purple button. We'll go ahead and import the XR package into Unity, and now we're ready to really get started. First, a bit of cleanup for the existing Rollaball tutorial from Unity. In their tutorial, the camera follows the ball, but in the AR version of this, we want the camera to follow the movement of the phone in the real world. So to do that, we're going to go to the main camera object, and we're going to remove the camera controller script. So I'm going to right-click on camera controller script and remove component. Next up, we want to enable all of the augmented reality tools that we've created by creating the XR controller. So by creating the XR controller, it has now enabled all of our scripts to work. So let's jump into that. First thing to do is go to the directional light, and we're going to add the XR light controller to this light. So we'll go to add component, XR light controller, and that's going to help the lighting in our scene blend to the environment from our phone. Now we head back to the main camera, and we're going to add two scripts. The first is the XR camera controller. That way, when you move your phone in the real world, it moves the camera in our scene. We're also going to want to add XR video controller. This is going to take the input from your camera and project it as the background so that this scene integrates with our physical environment. What we did in the directional light earlier is going to help with that a lot. Now we're going to create an empty game object that will act as a parent for all of the objects in our scene. We're going to rename the game object to playing surface. Make sure the position is at 0, 0, 0. And to this, we're going to add an XR surface controller. This will allow the playing surface to lock to a physical object via the camera. We're going to leave all these options at their default settings within the script. Now we're going to take the ground, player, walls, and pickups, or all of the elements that we want to be physical, and drag those onto playing surface, which will create a parenting relationship for playing surface to now manage the location of all of these objects. Next, we need to change the way that the input is handled. In the default project, the arrow keys are what's used to move the ball. But here, we want to be able to swipe on the screen and have the ball move in the swipe direction relative to the camera. For this, we're going to go down to the project window, find the scripts folder, and double click on player controller. Double clicking on the script is going to open your editor. Now once you get there, at the top of the class, we're going to add two new private variables to track the start and end positions of our swipe. We'll come down to private variables, and type private vector2 touch start comma touch end. Close with a semicolon. Next, we need to come down to the fixed update function, which we're going to delete and replace with a function of our own. I'm going to go ahead and copy paste all this code here. Here, we're creating an update function, which in Unity is called on every frame. The code here looks for a touch input and tracks the start and end positions of your swipe. When your swipe ends, it calculates the direction of the swipe relative to the camera pose and moves the ball in that direction. Now, I'm guessing you probably don't want to have to type all that code yourself, so we've left it all in the description for you down below. So go ahead and copy paste that from the YouTube description into your project. So if you need to, pause now, go ahead and do that. I'm also going to delete this comment because it no longer applies. So continuing on, we're going to save this script and head back to Unity. Now, if you were to build and run the app right now, it would work, but the objects as sized in Unity would be way too big when placed in the real world. So we're going to make a few size and physics related adjustments to make this a little bit more realistic. We're going to grab the playing surface that we created earlier and adjust the scale from 1 to 0.1 in the x, y, and z axes. That takes care of size, now for physics. Select player, and in the rigid body properties, we're going to set the mass equal to 20. Finally, we're going to adjust the position of the main camera to 0, 2.5, negative 3.0. And since we'll be so close to these small objects, we're going to change the near clipping plane to 0.01. Now we should probably save our project. And if you now build this app onto your phone, you can run it to see that the rollerball game will lock into your environment. You can walk around the board. You can use your finger to swipe the ball. And you'll see that relative to the camera, each direction that you swipe will influence the momentum of the ball in that direction. And now almost as quickly as you can win this game, you have now created a rollerball app in augmented reality. Now if you're new to our tutorials or to 8th Wall and you're having any issues running your app, what you're probably missing is to go to XR, App Key Settings. And you'll see here that our XR is looking for an app key. It's a super easy fix. Earlier, we downloaded 8th Wall XR from our website. All you need to do is head to the Applications panel and find the big purple button that says Create a New App Key. From there, you're going to create a bundle identifier with whatever name you choose, and make sure everything you type matches perfectly with the settings in Unity. 
The app is only going to work when these match, so make sure that you change the product name and the company name to match what you typed on the website. If you have any questions about anything in this video, feel free to comment down below. Thanks so much for watching another one of our tutorials. Please tag us in anything you make, we'd love to see it, and we're happy to answer any questions that you may have about 8th Wall. For more great content and tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.